so since we were talking about Twitter, uh, Elon Musk had what I think a few harsh words that I wish he didn't say. So let me ask, uh, in, in, in the hope in the name of camaraderie, what do you think Elon is doing well with Twitter? And what, as a person who has run for a long time, you, social networks, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, uh, what can he do better? What can he improve on that text-based social network? Gosh, it's it's always very difficult to offer specific critiques from from the outside before you get into this because I think one thing that I've learned is that everyone has opinions on what you should do and like running the company, you see a lot of specific nuances on things that are not apparent externally. And um, I often think that some of the discourse around us would be could be better if if there was more kind of space for acknowledging that there's certain things that we're seeing internally that guide what we're doing. But sure. um, but I don't know. I mean, because since you asked what what is what is going well, um, you know, I I do think that Elon led a push early on to make Twitter a lot leaner. And um, and I think that that, you know, it's like you can you can agree or disagree with exactly all the tactics and how and how we did that. You know, obviously, you know, every leader has their own style for if they, you know, if you need to make dramatic changes for that, how you're gonna execute it. Um, but a lot of the specific principles that he pushed on um, around basically trying to make the organization more technical around um, decreasing the distance between engineers at the company and and him like fewer layers of management um I think that those were generally good changes and I'm also I also think that it was probably good for the industry that he made those changes because my sense is that there were a lot of other people who thought that those were good changes but who may have been a little shy about doing them. And I think he, um, you know, just in my conversations with other founders um, and how people have reacted to the things that we've done, you know, what I've heard from a lot of folks is, is just, hey, you know, when you, when someone like you, you know, when I, when I wrote the letter outlining the organizational changes that I wanted to make um, back in March and, you know, when people see what Elon is doing, um, I think that that gives, you know, people the ability to think through how to shape their organizations in, 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 a, in a way that um, that that you know hopefully can can be good for the industry and make all these companies more productive over time. So um, saying that that was one where I think he was um, quite ahead of of a bunch of the the other companies on and 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 you know what he was doing there. You know, again from the outside, very hard to know. It's like okay, did he did he cut too much? Did he not cut enough? Whatever. I, I don't think it's like my place to opine on that. Um, and and you asked for a for a, a positive framing of the question of, of of what what do I um what do I admire what do I think it went well but I, I think that like certainly his actions um led me and I think a lot of other folks in the industry to think about hey are we are we kind of doing this as much as we should like can we is it, like could we make our companies better by pushing on some of these same principles. For more tech news, visit em360tech.com.